what Mercedes just revealed for 2023 is insane. And we're going to be going through that and four other stories in today's video. So make sure you like this video. And if you want more Mercedes F1 content like this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. But let's get straight into today's story because Mercedes have actually risked their development for 2023 season and have taken a big risk. Mercedes have sacrificed a lot of time this season to better understand the W13. This has displayed the development of the 2023 car as the team wanted to improve their current car first. P3 and Constructors Champion would therefore not be a bad thing for Mercedes, as it gives the team more wind tunnel. Now, although this may seem like a bad thing, it actually has worked out for the better because Mercedes have found a lot of problems and are bringing a new design for next season. Now, Mercedes started the season well behind Red Bull Racing and Ferrari. Meanwhile, with several updates and technical directive, the team has moved a lot closer to the RB18, even giving them a chance to beat Ferrari for P2 in the Constructors championship. However, it has taken a very long time to understand the W13. Total Wolf would like to get another win this season in Brazil or Abu Dhabi. P2 in the championship would be a reward for all the staff, according to the team boss. However, the team's technical department disagrees. According to them, Mercedes would be better off finishing in third position to get more hours in the wind tunnel to further develop the W14. So this is where I see it being such a huge, you know, long-term play. Now in the short term, it may not look really, really good. However, in the long term coming into next season, I think what Mercedes are doing are very, very smart. It is a big risk, but I think it is going to pay dividends in the future due to the fact that they are coming in with a new design for next season. Now, technical department actually had this to say about the Mercedes car for next year. We risk throwing away a lot of resources, not only economically to try to understand why the zero side pod concept was so fast in the factory, but not on the track. For the W14, we have a lot coming and we have new designs that you are not ready for. So this is exciting new stuff. Obviously, there isn't a photo out just yet, but I think they are going to bring something we have never seen before and a new beast in the making for that W14. The original plan was to finish the understanding the W13 in May and then focus completely on a different concept for the W14. However, that was postponed in July as the strides made the updates very still small. We took a big risk because we wouldn't have started working on the W14 until September if we hadn't found the answers we were looking for. Fortunately, the team managed to find solutions to the W13's problem between May and July. And the reason why this is such a good thing is that they are going to be able to solve these problems for the W14 as well, because that's what caused a lot of problems for the W13 this season. Earlier on the season, there was a lot of porpoising issues and a lot of issues when it just came to straight line speed. And the fact that they have been able to figure that out with the W13 means they will be able to relay that onto the W14 for 2023. Meanwhile, the team seemed to have caught up with Ferrari. In Mexico, Mercedes beat the Italians, although it is expected that this was a one-off performance due to the specific conditions and the high altitude circuit. Now, on top of all this, when it comes to 2023, there is even more greater news for Mercedes next season, and that is Daniel Ricciardo linked to Mercedes F1 reserve driver role, and this is becoming much more of a set in stone play. Daniel Ricciardo is currently negotiating with F1 teams about a potential reserve driver role. Whilst insisting nothing has been set in stone, whispers are emerging that he is in talks with Mercedes and it is getting very, very close. After a demanding two-year spell with McLaren, Ricardo has decided to take a sabbatical next season and prepare for any options that may present themselves in 2024. Whilst the 33-year-old will not be a full-time driver next season, he has clarified that he will still be active in the paddock next season. Ricardo has had several assurances about this, stressing that he will not stray too far away from F1 in 2023. This is a logical decision considering that he will need to understand the mechanics of the driver market to maximize his chances of a comeback. Focusing on Ricardo's prospects next season, there are several reasons that he will evaluate joining a team as a reserve driver. Perhaps most importantly, it will allow the Australian to remain connected in the paddock and stay in the loop, which will be crucial as he positions himself for the future. In addition, spending a year as a reserve will keep Ricardo relatively sharp and give him experience with the 2023 cars. This will prove useful if he makes an eventual return in 2024. And I completely do agree with this. When it comes to everything that Ricardo has done, I do think he has a lot of potential to still be a great driver. However, if he does take a season completely off, it may not be, you know, it may take some time for him to actually come back completely. And obviously these F1 teams sometimes don't want to take that risk on getting someone who needs to, you know, shake off 
off a little bit of that rust. Now Mercedes now have a vacancy in its reserve driver role with Stoffel Van Dorn leaving for Aston Martin. Whilst Ricardo joining Mercedes is the only speculation at this point, the stars seem to be aligning. Ricardo is frankly overqualified for the reserve driver role, so it seems plausible that Mercedes will be interested in a driver of his caliber and experience to join the team's roster. And this is what I absolutely love about this. I think getting Ricardo in a Mercedes car would be fantastic, especially for next season, even if it's just a reserve driver. And I do think I will be excited to see if he does actually race. Maybe someone ends up being six with Russell or Hamilton. And I think it would be interesting to see how Daniel Ricardo faces, especially if he's in a better car, such as Mercedes. It would be a stress to suggest that Ricardo has a chance of joining Mercedes in 2024, given that Hamilton has already declared his intentions to extend his contract. Frankly, that is neither nor there for Ricardo. The eight-time race winner has been cautiously linked to a reserve role with Mercedes, but the significance of this is beyond any long shot of an eventual full-time role with Mercedes. So that is probably the only saddening thing about this. Mercedes isn't going to offer him a long-term deal due to the fact that they already have George Russell and Lewis Hamilton. And you know, George Russell is an upcoming star and you wouldn't want to release him for someone that is a little bit older than Daniel Ricardo, who's only got, you know, five, 10 years maybe um, in the future. So when it comes to all this, instead of it being relevant because it emphasized Daniel Ricardo's commitments to staying active in the F1 paddock and maximizes his chances of returning. There is no guarantee Ricardo will find what he's looking for in 2024, but these developments will surely improve his prospect. Now for him to get him at such a low cost as a reserve driver, I think is actually such a good steal. You know, I would love to see him actually race a couple of races, especially in a Mercedes car. That would be fantastic to see. Now, Lewis Hamilton is confident Mercedes know where they need to improve for 2023, and this is going to be very interesting moving forward. Despite a generally tricky season, Lewis Hamilton is confident that Mercedes can address their weakness and make the improvements to fight for wins next season. Lewis Hamilton's W13 ultimately lacked the pace to defeat Max Verstappen in Mexico City, but the Silver Arrows will be pleased that their performance in the race trim puts them within touching distance of Red Bull. Mercedes has been close to a victory on multiple occasions this year, with Hamilton demonstrating phenomenal pace in races such as the Hungarian and Dutch Grand Prix. A race win has still eluded Hamilton this season, but the unpredictable nature of the W13 from early in the season seems to have addressed relatively successful. To some degree, Hamilton's improved form could be also attributed to no longer being forced to experiment with the setup as he made to do in early this season. And I think this is very important to actually understand because when it comes to what Hamilton has achieved with this car so far, he's done a very good job. The car isn't up to the standard of Red Bull or Ferrari, but I think what he's been capable of doing of staying, you know, in third place, getting some good podium finishes as along with George Russell has really shown that Lewis Hamilton is here to stay and that Mercedes are making the right strides forward. Now, regardless, the pace Mercedes demonstrated in Mexico and another encouraging step in the team's progression as they set their sights onto 2023. Total Wolf actually said it's time to focus on 2023. We're just looking to finish out the season. And I think this is the best when it comes to what is the future holding for Mercedes? There really isn't any use, you know, besides maybe Hamilton keeping his streak alive of winning at least one Grand Prix in every season he's been in. And obviously that streak he doesn't want to end. But when it comes to everything else, I think it is very important for someone like Toto Wolff and also the Mercedes team to really start focusing on 2023 and getting off to a good start. That's how they really failed last season or this season, sorry, where, you know, they went off to a rocky start due to the whole porpoising issue. And with that porpoising, issue it was too late to come back and Red Bull have already taken further from there so that's basically the mistake or I guess the problem that they had this season and hopefully they don't make that same mistake next season as well now Wolf reflects on whether Mercedes lost best chance to win in Mexico the Mexican Grand Prix looked to be one of Mercedes strongest weekends so far in 2022 but the team were unable to convert this into their first win of the season despite this team boss Total Wolf remains cautiously optimistic about what they can achieve in the final two races Total Wolf admits that the Mexican Grand Prix was Mercedes' best chance to win a race in 2022 on paper, but remains positive about what the team achieved. The Silver Arrows looked strong as the weekend got underway at the Autodromo Hermanos Rodriguez, with George Russell and Lewis Hamilton leading the timesheets in Saturday's final practice session before qualifying for Sunday's race in P2 and P3 respectively. Despite a solid getaway, neither driver was ultimately able to challenge Red Bull's Max Verstappen for victory. Hamilton ended the day in second. 
While Russell finished fourth, both Hamilton and Wolff have suggested that strategy played a part in their struggles, with just two races remaining for Mercedes to claim a debut win of the season. Wolff was quizzed on whether the event in Mexico had represented the team's strongest opportunity for a victory. On the simulations, it says yes, he told media, including Racing News 365. While this may be the case, Wolff admits that there are remains a chance that Mercedes could perform well in Brazil and Abu Dhabi after their performance in Mexico. We see the tendency, we see that we are able to compete, the team boss explained. I'm really proud of the team for what they did this weekend. We experimented with a lot of things, the engine guys have pushed the boundaries really to give us the maximum performance, so I think it will be a mix between trying to max whilst trying the most of next year. Mercedes remained third in the Constructors' Championship with a 40 point deficit to second place Ferrari, and I think it really isn't any point. If anything, if I were Mercedes, I would actually just tank the rest of the other two races. Maybe if Hamilton wants to go and try to get a win, maybe go for that. But I think it would be better for them to actually fall down a couple of places in order to get the advantage for next season. And I think that's really, really important. So Russell actually takes positive from Mercedes performance despite frustrating P4 finish at the Mexican Grand Prix. So he actually had a lot to stay. But speaking after the race, Russell said, yeah, it was a little bit frustrating to miss out on the podium. I made a good start, but Lewis was there on the side and I was probably a little bit too cautious there with my teammate. Ultimately, that probably cost me two positions today because I would have ended up in second and things would have been very different. But nevertheless, really happy that we're making a lot of progress as a team, especially when you look at it compared to Ferrari. It's really impressive the performance that we are bringing week in and week out. He added, Red Bull are still in the league of their own. Credit to them. Perhaps today, we, if we were on the same strategy as a team, we would have been a lot closer. So again, a positive takeaway. So thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.